you know, I was training for domination, you know, and that's that's my style. I'm going to go in there, hunt you down, and hurt you, and that's exactly what happened tonight. It's been a while since you've had your hand raised in victory. Just what did it feel like for you there, just winning and getting, getting the hand raised and just knowing that you're back in the column again? It was, a, it was a good feeling to have back, you know. Two years, you know, gives you a lot of time to doubt yourself. A lot of people will try to make you doubt yourself, you know, after bad injuries and just time to just sit around and think about it. But I didn't, I didn't go that route. I believed in myself. I know what I could do. I'm a young guy. I have so much more mileage to go in this sport and so much, so much more to show of myself in there. And this is this is the start of a new chapter. I'm very excited. Could you hear the crowd? Because it was a fair bit of support for you. And I know that in, during the fight week, we talked about how this might be enemy territory for you. Mm -hmm. But there was a fair amount of people that were cheering your name tonight. Yeah, it's super cool. I think it's because of some of the, the battles I've been in the past that kind of make me liked internationally, I guess. you know. So it's, it's nice to have that support wherever I go, you know. Uh, that my fights have been able to touch people around the world, it means a lot. Well, you obviously, you know, around the corner, you've got, you know, Lima and Larkin. Um, how do you see that fight playing out? Um, who have you got to win in that fight as well? It's a hard fight to call. I mean, those guys are closely matched. Larkin's an extremely good uh, kickboxer who's tough and very athletic, not easy to keep on his back. Lima's a big guy, um, powerful in every discipline. So, you know, it could be just, you know, it could be whatever, whoever's on that night, it could be, uh, you know, they'll take it. Do you think they're a level above, below you when you look at them? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm the best in the world. And I, uh, I think I made a statement tonight. You know, uh, Lima had a pretty hard fight with uh, with Daly, you know, I went out there and I just, I, uh, you know, I, I smoked him, you know, in every discipline, and uh, it was a message that uh, I am, I'm just another level, and uh, these guys are going to have uh, a lot of, a lot of pain to deal with if they get in the cage with me. I'm, I'm there to destroy when I get in that cage. I'm not there to play games, or pick my shots, or play points. I've had a couple fights like that, but. There's, I've always had regrets leaving those fights. Uh, when I walk in through those doors now, I'm going to destroy you. And that's it. Do you feel like, to a certain extent, in the lead up to this, a lot of people were putting a lot of um, emphasis on the fact that you've got a newly repaired nose. Do you think that you've exercised that demon now? Do you think that you're over that hurdle? You're no longer fearful of taking, especially as soon as you've taken the best punches to the face? Yeah, I think you could see by my body language, you know, like, this, that chapter is done. Uh, that uh, that injury is over. I gave it the time that it needed to heal. And that's all it was. Discipline. Um, just taking time, letting an injury heal. Because I'm, I was so hungry after the Robbie Lawler fight, I made the mistake of sparring and slowing the process down. Now I knew what I had to do is just chill, let it heal, and let the time you know you know do the process and. You know, now now we're here and the train is ready to keep rolling. You know, there's momentum now and I'm ready uh, to take fights all the time. Um, like they were targeting, they were possibly targeting Canada in 2018. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah. you're going to want to fight before then, mm -hmm. uh, but is that a card that you're going to want to be on? Absolutely. If they're, if they're in Canada, I'm headlining that show. There's uh, no doubt about that. Um, they're not going to Canada without me, that's for sure. And first up, what do you think of his opinion of your approach. I didn't hear his opinion. He said you went for the safe bet in terms of your tactics for finishing him. <laughs> well, I finished him. So, and he's the one that tapped out. So I guess who's the quitter now, right? But uh, you know, uh, I, I, this is mixed martial arts, and when I see an opening, I'm going to strike, whether it's standing or on the ground. And I kicked him in the head. I beat him up standing. I took him down. I beat him up there and choked him out. So there was really no area that I played it safe. I came forward, hunted him down, and I took him out. 